We saved this dog from bad conditions and apparently he's a golden retriever. But before we start, please take a moment to give this video a like, subscribe to Happy World and hit the bell so you'll never miss these great stories. Beautiful Bobby This boy had an owner in Bali but he was in such poor condition his owner agreed to surrender him and thank God he did. From the beginning, we'd suspected Bombi was a golden retriever, but it was hard to tell. He was skin and bones and had large chunks of fur missing. Bobby was taken to the vet and was found with a terribly uncomfortable skin condition and a blood parasite which explained his skeletal frame. The sweet boy was put into foster care where his foster care tried to fatten him up. When Bobby was rescued from his neglectful owner, he was in a terrible condition. Slowly but surely, his fur started to grow back and he started looking more and more like the gorgeous golden retriever he was born to be. However, Bobby's skin condition never fully cleared up and today he still suffers. This is because many western breed dogs don't belong in the Bali climate. The climate here is lovely for humans but for dogs it can be too hot, harsh and humid and can be a breeding ground for bacteria. The native Bali dog is a tough breed and they have adapted over the decades. The owner finally decided to give Bobby to professionals so they could properly take care of him. Mission Possible isn't a shelter. We rescue, rehabilitate, and rehome abused, sick, and neglected dogs from the streets of Bali. We have a large network of foster carers who take in the animals while they're healing, and the founder, Prue Barber, currently has a lot of dogs healing at her home. We support solo rescuers with advice and resources. However, because the stray dog situation here in Bali has become so bad, we're raising funds to build a healing center as we simply don't have enough foster carers to help us look after all our rescues. The healing center will be a special place to help our rescues decompress and heal. We'll only ever have 30 to 40 at a time, and our treatments will include music therapy, coconut oil massages, and a lot of vitamin D and rest. The poor pup was diagnosed with a blood parasite in severe and uncomfortable skin condition. As we mentioned before, we also reached out to Bobby's owner to find out a little bit more about the dog's personality. Bobby's the most mellow dog who loves the beach and rolling in the sand. He's starting to become more confident and explorative. You can tell he's had a rough life. He's slow to warm to people, dislikes busy streets, and sticks close to my side whenever we're outside. But more recently, he's started to have moments where he acts or looks like a young dog. He's starting to sniff around more, to run a little further on the beach for me. Above all, he's just a mellow dog who loves a rub and is happy at home. Safe and sound, though he didn't like the cone in foster care. We were also curious whether Bobby was the only dog in the house or if his owner had more pets. Bobby's the only dog I have, although I wish I could give him a dog sibling and he's actually my first pet. While I've lived with roommates who've had dogs, I've never had one of my own. I've learned so much about dogs, dog care, and myself in adopting Bobby. Out of all dogs that Bobby's owner could have chosen, she still chose him, so we wanted to know what the reason was. The pandemic has been really hard for everyone in Bali, but particularly difficult for dogs who have been abandoned at an unbelievable rate. Months into the pandemic, I rescued a little puppy out of a drain in front of my house. While my neighbor went on to adopt the puppy, I felt bad knowing that I could take a dog in now because I'm working from home. Bobby caught my eye on Mission Possible's Instagram because he had these sad loving eyes. Then Bobby finally found a caring and loving owner. Soon enough, Bobby found his forever home and was adopted by a loving woman who lived next to the beach. These days, you can find Bobby running along the sands of Bali, tail wagging happy as can be. Bobby's living a happy life now, so we asked the owner to share some funny stories. Despite living in Bali, I think Bobby's never been in the ocean. Although he's a golden retriever mix, he's a bit afraid of the waves or water. On our third or fourth trip to the beach, we were playing in the sand and I ran to the ocean, ankle deep, and he ran after me. When he realized what happened, he grabbed onto me and wouldn't let go, so I had to carry him out of the water. It took me months to get him back into the water. While he'll never be an ocean swimming dog, he now loves a stream, tide pooling, and rolling around in the sand. In his forever home, he started his long journey to recovery. My favorite thing about Bobby is how sweet and gentle he is. I'm impressed that despite being treated poorly by people in the past, he's still able to receive and give affection. Bobby's story also went viral on the internet, so we asked the owner how she felt about that. I'm surprised that so many resonated with his story. He really deserves a better life than when he was found, and I hope that I'll be able to give him that. Lastly, we asked the Golden Retriever's owner to tell us what she'd like people to take away from this story. This would never have been possible without the true heroes in Bobby's rescue story, Tara and Mark, Bobby's foster parents. They nursed him from the brink of life and took care of him when just a smell could have repulsed a person. I couldn't have imagined how hard it would be to support Bobby's rehabilitation, 
but every day has been an adventure and learning lesson with him, and I've been so supported by his foster parents. Sometimes looking at Bobby makes me want to run up and hug him, thinking about the transformation he's undertaken. Bobby's an adorable and very photogenic pooch. Bobby's first trip to the beach. As the months passed, he was almost a completely healthy dog, and finally he turned into the golden retriever he was always meant to be. To help more dogs like Bobby, we're on a mission to building the health center, a place where abused, neglected, and ill dogs can find respite and finally heal.